In today's recap of the tantalizing thriller, Family Practice, we witness the intricate web of relationships that entangles our protagonist Simon, as he navigates a forbidden love affair that shatters his world. Before we delve into the heart-pounding twists and turns, we'd like to thank you for your continued support. The movie begins with Simon, who has a good life with his girlfriend Fabian. Simon wants to be an artist, while Fabian manages an art gallery. One day, Simon takes Fabian with him to his father's 60th birthday celebration. Simon is a bit nervous. When they arrive at his family's home, Simon sees his father Carl, praying with his friends. Simon's mom Agnes is also there. While the men are praying, Simon sees Carl's mistress, Sonia. After the prayer, people start eating and some guests ask Simon why he left medical school. Simon's dad is a great writer and a psychologist. He approves of Simon's choice to pursue an artistic career. Fabian also speaks up and says that Simon has been nominated for an award for his artwork, which makes his parents proud. After Simon's conversation with his mom, he realizes that she needs help with a book and wants him to compile his dad's lectures into a book. Although Simon has the opportunity of earning a good income through this, his passion for art makes it hard for him to commit. Meanwhile, Simon's dad is left alone with Sonia, his secretary, in a room, which Simon's mom witnesses and has a seizure. Overwhelmed with the situation, Simon talks to Fabian, his colleague, about it and shows her his sketches for their upcoming exhibition, which is in three weeks. Simon is feeling the pressure as Fabian isn't satisfied with his work. As if that's not enough, Agnes comes in and pleads with Simon to transcribe the book so she can go on vacation with Carl. Simon agrees to help his mom, but Fabian expresses his concern that it will affect his art. Despite the challenges, Simon is determined to manage both responsibilities effectively and deliver excellent results. He goes to his family home, where Carl explains how he plans to turn his lectures into a book. While discussing this, Carl admits to having a relationship with Sonia. He confesses to being in love and feels guilty that Sonia will have to stay back and assist Simon with the book. After his parents leave, Simon begins working on the book. Later that evening, he attends the award ceremony with Fabian. Although he knows he will not win, he still feels disappointed when someone else receives the prize. Fabian reassures him that his work is top tier and that he will soon receive all the recognition he deserves. The following day, while Simon is transcribing, Sonia complains that she was denied permission to travel with Carl because of him. Simon becomes enraged by this and warns her not to feel special since Carl is a notorious womanizer and would soon find some other females. Sonia finds these remarks offensive and attempts to address Simon, but he just ignores her. He attempts to sketch anything when he gets home that night, but he isn't feeling very motivated, so he instead spends his time chatting with his roommate and feeding the dog outside his apartment. The following morning, he hears Sonia telling Carl that she is not a toy that he can play with whenever he pleases. As they are having a heated disagreement, Simon gets a call from his father. He advises Simon not to discuss anything other than the job with Sonia since doing so would damage his own relationship. Simon is quite interested to learn that Sonia was once one of Carl's patients when Carl's manager informs him of this the very next day. Later on that day, a young lady goes in search of Carl after being asked to his clinic by him. Sonia notices this and begs the girl to go, but she is distressed by the whole situation. After the end of his shift, Simon is looking to transfer his work to a flash drive. He goes to Sonia's office, but there he finds her crying. She's trying to wipe her tears, and Simon offers her a box of wipes. When she hugs him, he comforts her by saying that everything will be okay, and this is when she kisses him. This shocks Simon, and he leaves the office immediately. He meets up with Fabian that afternoon, but he can't stop thinking about Sonia, even when he's with his girlfriend. The very next day, while he is attempting to work in his office, he is distracted by thoughts of the kiss and decides to visit Sonia's office to find out what the kiss signified. Sonia claims that it was only an impulsive decision. When she leaves for lunch with a different co-worker, Simon begins to delve into her background since he doesn't like her response. A knock on the door prevents him from reading Sonia's file when he opens the cabinet and removes it. After returning the file, he steps outside and sees a man carrying a bunch of red roses. He learns that Sonia received those roses from Carl. Simon becomes envious of this and takes the roses outside, tossing them in the garden. Then, when he meets Fabian for lunch, he notices that Fabian is attempting to hire the artist prize winner. 
Simon decides not to stay and returns to his office, where Sonia questions him about the flowers. He claims to be unaware of them. He hears her speaking to his father and decides to listen in on their exchange. He's upset to know that his father considers him a crazy person. He's filled with rage, so before he leaves, he tells Sonia that she shouldn't feel too proud because Carl evaluates her the same way he evaluates everyone else. He then takes a train and goes straight to Fabian's office, but there he sees her talking to that new artist. He's grabbing a drink in the kitchen when his dad asks him why he's creating problems at work. Simon says he doesn't want to work anymore, but his mom tells him that he should keep working on that book, otherwise, their marriage will be ruined. All of this pressure is crushing Simon, and he ends up having an argument with Fabian, who says that she had to hire a new artist since Simon is unable to work. After this argument, Simon gets on the train and goes back to the office where Sonia is trying to find the key to the cabinets. She wants her file, and Simon gives her that. When he goes back to retrieve it, he notices that Sonia is really sad after reading Carl's remarks. She starts kissing Simon once again to find some privacy. They leave her office and sneak into Carl's house. There, Simon and Sonia end up sleeping together in his parents' bedroom. After this romantic session, Simon cleans the sheets before getting into the car with Sonia, who drives him to the city. She says that he can always hang out with her, and this makes Simon extremely happy. He's finally starting to feel good about himself, but things take a bad turn when his flatmate tells him that Fabian has been extremely friendly with a new artist. He attends a private party that night where Fabian is performing a love song for him. She's enjoying herself and it's obvious that she loves him. Simon tells her he slept with Sonia when they are sitting down together and sharing a kiss. Fabian's heart is broken by this, and she is speechless. She exits after declaring that their relationship cannot be saved. When Sonia asks Simon over after she departs, he is on his phone. He rushes over to her place since he's feeling lonely, and she shows him to the second floor. They begin kissing and eventually make love to one another. They are enjoying their relationship, and Sonia even prepares a meal for him. Simon says the prayer and blesses everyone. He sleeps at her place and wakes up to find that Sonia has gone to the market. While looking at Sonia's picture with his dad, Carl walks into the apartment, shocking Simon. However, Simon is also surprised to learn that the apartment belongs to Carl in the first place. Carl understands the situation and tells Simon that Sonia has always wanted a baby, and since he can't give her that, they have been having a lot of problems. As they discuss this, Sonia returns and kisses Simon in front of Carl. Carl tries to talk to Sonia, but she tells him to leave. Simon realizes that Sonia used him to make Carl jealous. He confronts her about it, and she admits to it. This situation confuses Simon and he starts hearing ringing in his ear. He goes back to his apartment, but he feels very sick. Agnes calls him and tells him that Carl is moving in with Sonia. While talking to Agnes, she has a panic attack, but she's okay now. She blames Simon for everything and tells him to stay away from them. Simon is hurt because he thinks no one loves him anymore. He goes to Fabian's studio to apologize, but she tells him to stay away. Simon goes back to his apartment and destroys all of his artwork. He has some kind of attack and passes out. He wakes up in the hospital and sees his dad, who is happy to see him. Carl tells his son that he never wanted to burden him with his private life. Simon blames Carl for ruining his mom's life, and these words make Carl emotional. Carl says that he loves Agnes and wants to be with Sonia because she makes him happy. In the climactic conclusion of, Family Practice, Simon's life takes a dramatic turn. A few months have passed since Simon's tumultuous affair with Sonia, and he is now enrolled in medical school. During the release of his father's book, Simon has an unexpected encounter with Sonia, who is pregnant with his child. This revelation throws Simon's life into chaos once again, but he is determined to do what's best for his child. As Simon navigates the challenges of impending fatherhood, he also reconnects with his mother, who still hasn't given up on her husband despite his infidelity. Simon confronts her, asking why she wouldn't leave his father, and learns that she wants to take care of Simon's child since Sonia clearly isn't up for the job. Despite the complex emotions and relationships at play, Simon eventually finds himself at another party where Sonia hands him his newborn son. Overwhelmed by the sight of his child, Simon forgives Sonia for the deception and manipulation that led to their relationship. He embraces his newfound role as a father, 
and the film ends with the family taking a group picture while Simon contemplates his future. In the midst of heartbreak, betrayal, and self-discovery, Simon's journey in family practice ultimately leads him to a place of growth and acceptance as he takes on the responsibilities and joys of fatherhood. As the riveting drama of family practice unfolds, we're left with lingering questions in a world of secrets yet to be revealed. Did Simon make the right choices in the face of temptation? What lies ahead for him now, entangled in a web of complicated relationships? Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below, and stay tuned for more mysterious tales on our channel. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like, it really helps the channel.